This program will introduce the condition known as schizophrenia and will give an overview of the current medications and nursing interventions for treating it. We will begin with a discussion of the signs and symptoms you may encounter as you seek to assess the condition, an overview of what we understand of the pathology of the condition, an overview of the types of nursing interventions used to treat schizophrenia, a more detailed look at the major medications in use, an examination of the process of nursing intervention with medications, and then an examination of the specific side effects you might encounter. First, we will discuss assessing the signs and symptoms of schizophrenia. It is generally agreed that schizophrenia is not a single disorder. It is a series of consequences resulting from fundamental brain dysfunction. This is not fully understood, but it can derive from specific areas of the brain that have not developed properly, and symptoms can be very diverse and involve many brain functions. I saw people who didn't exist, and I heard people say things they never said, and, uh, and I didn't, wasn't saying to the doctor, I'm hearing voices or I'm seeing things I didn't know I was. And they were so clever, these hallucinations, that they had everyone fooled. Signs and symptoms of schizophrenia can be grouped into four basic clusters. The first cluster includes positive symptoms. In the broadest sense, positive symptoms involve an excess of activity or sensation. These can be delusions, hallucinations, disorganized speech, agitation, and catatonic behavior. Positive symptoms are often the first ones to draw attention to the patient. The negative cluster of symptoms generally involve a decrease of normal activity or sensation. These include affective flattening or the appearance of an expressionless face, abolition, or a lack of drive and or initiative, anhedonia, or a lack of any humor or joy, alogia, or a lack of speech or the ability to express oneself adequately. At the extreme is complete social withdrawal. The cognitive cluster of symptoms involve deficits in comprehension and the ability to perform day-to-day -day activities. These can include attention deficits, memory lapses, and poor abstract reasoning. The fourth, mood symptoms, are considered a symptom subset of schizophrenia, which when added to the basic clusters is known as schizoaffective disorder. The mood cluster of symptoms include sudden swings in and out of extreme emotional states, such as euphoria, apathy, grandiose ideas, belligerence, and dysphoria, or great anguish. These mood symptoms can lead to the patient's inability to function at work, in social settings, or even failure to perform basic self-care. In assessing a patient's symptoms, it is important to bear in mind comorbid conditions. These are disease states that may either aggravate the primary mental illness or make the assessment and treatment of schizophrenia more difficult. They include substance abuse, hepatitis, AIDS, and diabetes. Assessment of a patient with schizophrenia can be quite difficult. The symptoms can be confusing and contradictory and can sometimes change rapidly. When a new patient comes onto your unit, you make contact with him if you can. If you can't make contact with you with him, that tells you something right there. But you look at him, you uh, talk to him, you try to get him to talk to you. Um, you just start trying to build rapport. You must pay close attention to patient and family history and build up a database with observations over time. This will help the healthcare team determine a treatment plan and modify it if necessary. Before discussing specific interventions, it is important to review what we currently understand about brain function and schizophrenia, or the pathology of schizophrenia. Within the brain, there are chemicals called neurotransmitters that function as chemical switches. They enable the movement of electrical impulses from brain cell to brain cell, and these impulses are responsible for the transmission of thoughts and sensations.